What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be going over one of the easiest ways that you can get your hands on a shiny in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now I know this game literally hands out shinies left and right and some people have been lucky enough to find a shiny before they even make it to Mezagoza. Me on the other hand, I'm not that lucky. Either that or I just don't know what a bunch of the shinies look like. But if you're like me and you're trying to get your hands on your first shiny or if you're just a shiny hunter, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to this video. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you always stay up to date with the latest Pokemon news and give this video a thumbs up so that we can push it out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. And if you would like another way to support the channel, please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep what I'm doing on a daily basis. And I'm not gonna lie, my sweatshirts are pretty cool, but I might be a little biased. I've also linked copies of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on my Amazon storefront if you are still looking for your own. But let's go ahead and hop into some shiny hunting. Bye. Bye. Normally your shiny rates are 1 in 4096, or if you took your biology class, you would know that there are 1 in 4000 according to Jacques, but I'm pretty sure it's 4096. So to increase our odds, we are going to go ahead and implement this super easy method. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your map, and we're going to look for some mass outbreaks, which are usually marked by little sprites like this weasel over here. And I was lucky because I was literally in this area looking for a thunderstone to evolve my belly bolt. So I'm going to set this weasel as my location and we're gonna go ahead and head over to find some weasels. All right, so I've made it to where the mass breakout of weasels is, and as you can see, there's already a bunch of weasels that are spawning everywhere. So what you're gonna wanna do for this method, it's easiest to do it with auto battles, is you're just gonna go ahead and knock out 30 Pokemon to start off with. You are gonna have to keep track because nothing keeps track for you. So that actually increases your shiny odds to one in 2048. So there was one, here is two, and we just gotta do this until we hit 30. There's three. A few moments later. So now that you've cleared 30 shinies, you technically get another reroll for any shiny spawns. And if you haven't found any yet, that means you're gonna have to knock out 30 more. And one of the easiest ways you can tell if a Pokemon is a shiny and you are doing this auto battle method is if the Pokemon refuses to battle it because they don't actually battle the shinies. So if you see like the little sweat marks around your Pokemon, when it does approach one of the Pokemon in the mass outbreak, that means that you've found your shiny, but we have had no such luck yet. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out 30 more of these poor little weasels. And now we're at 33. And something to note is you definitely do want to keep track of how many weasels or whatever Pokemon that you're shiny hunting you do take out. Because if you take out too many, then you can make the mass outbreak just disappear. So that was 37, this is 38. This should be a 39. A few moments later. All right, so we've done our 60 auto battles and from what it looks like, I have not run into a shiny weasel yet, which means that we are now gonna have to implement the strategy that I am about to show you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, I am going to, first of all, turn off my auto save in case we do run into a shiny. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So yes, let's go ahead and save that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a picnic. And what the picnic does is it resets your spawn. So as you can see, all of the weasel are now gone. So it's best to do this in a spot where you are able to see all of the spawn. So I was lucky enough that I literally have a big open area here with the weasels. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do is just pack up the picnic and exit out of it. And it should reset all of the weasel spawns. And you're just gonna keep doing this until you are lucky enough to run into a shiny. There's no guarantee how many resets it takes. You're just gonna kind of have to be patient and search around, especially since you do have to know what the shiny looks like for each individual Pokemon since they don't sparkle, they don't make a noise, or anything like they did in Legends Arceus. But like I said, one of the easiest ways to find a shiny is if your Pokemon refuses to auto battle it. If it refuses to auto battle the shiny, then that's how you know that it is indeed 
a shiny. And it's usually marked by little sweat marks on the little sprite down below where you have your HP bar. In my case, I am looking for a Buizel that is a slightly lighter yellow color and has a white little floaty. So it's definitely gonna be a harder one to spot for sure. And I might have to reset a couple of times. However, by knocking out 60 of the Buizel, we did increase our shiny odds to one in 1,365. So it's definitely a lot better than one in 4,096. All right, as you can see, we have found a new shiny friend. I'm gonna go ahead and save in front of it in case anything goes wrong. And let me also go ahead and show you that Belly Bull will literally refuse to attack the shiny. As you can see, it literally has the little sweat marks. He will not attack the shiny. So don't, do not despair. Your Pokemon will not knock out the shiny if you send it out to auto battle. But let's go ahead and interact with Boo Weasel. Okay, it's level 16. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw an Ultra Ball at it and hope for the best. Hopefully it, uh, goes in the ball because all of my Pokemon would most definitely hurt this thing. And boom, we are good to go. Our Weasel is caught. I did have to do the picnic method a couple of times to do this. It probably took me around 30 minutes, but I will say it's a lot better than having to wait hours and hours and hours when your chances are only one in 4,096. But there you have it. That is going to be the quickest and easiest way to shiny hunt during mass outbreaks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Once again, just to recap, your normal shiny odds are one in 4,096. After KOing 30 Pokemon, they are one in 2048. And after KOing 60 Pokemon, they are 1 in 1,365. Remember to keep track of how many Pokemon that you do KO, because if you do KO too many, then your mass outbreak will literally just disappear. Also, make sure that you turn off your auto save so that you can save in front of the shiny in case anything does go wrong, like you knock it out, it runs away, whatever. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Best of luck shiny hunting to all of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.